to to an event where we had a number in mind, and uh, it was the same number. And uh, during that event, God challenged both of us. And uh, when it came time to commit, we just looked at each other and said the identical number that was higher than the original amount that we had. And, and it was just great to see God talking to both of us separately, uh, but saying the same thing. Well, the last four years has, uh, has been a whirlwind of blessings. God has just been relentless um, in how he's blessed us. Um, like I said, we've had, we had our first child, and uh, we had a second, and now we have a third on the way. I also uh, left one job for a better opportunity, and uh, after about a little more than a year, got laid off from that um, job. And uh, that was a tough period where God, um, he was right beside us, and he got us right through it. And, and we were still able to meet our, um, to meet our commitment, um, but our faith was much stronger having gone through such a challenge with him. And, uh, and then I was able to get another job, and uh, I did that for another year, and now I find myself... Uh, the newest member of the Northridge staff here, and uh, wow, um, what a blessing it is to be able to um, pour all my efforts into what God is doing here. When you make the sacrifice, I think that it can be scary because you can't see the future, but once you're going through it and you're able to look back at how God has taken care of you and blessed and met all of those needs and your wants and desires, it is just such a way to make you fall in love with him even more. I think that when we make sacrifices for God, we help him to be able to show us what a great provider he is. When we live comfortably, he's not able to meet our needs because we're so busy doing that ourselves. And um, I think it is so exciting to be able to step out in faith and allow God to work in our life and allow him to change our relationship with him and help us to see how great a God he is and how great a provider he truly is for us. Yes, I definitely feel that God is calling my family to sacrifice for this next campaign and I think that it's something that we're very excited to do and the biggest difference from this time to last time is this time it's done without fear. The conventional wisdom with, with uh retirement income is to you want to make it a, a huge priority um, to set aside for your future and uh, you know there's you if you watch TV you can't go too long without seeing a commercial about what your number is and uh, um, for the first campaign that was a big source of our gift and uh, and for this campaign it's also going to be a big source of our gift and uh, one of the things that I've talked to to Jen about is just that um, God is moving here now and uh, I don't want to hold on to something to be used later when, when I know God's in this and he's in this place and he's in this time. So.